Good afternoon. Welcome to this edition of the Vision Root video blog. I'm your host, Richard Urban. We're coming to you from historic Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. Today's video blog is titled, Are You Blessed or Cursed? Let's start with two readings. One is from Deuteronomy 29, verse 19. When such a person hears the words of this oath, and they invoke a blessing on themselves, thinking, I will be safe even though I persist in going my own way, they will bring disaster on the watered land as well as the dry. The Lord will never be willing to forgive them. His wrath and zeal will burn against them. All the curses written in this book will fall on them, and the Lord will blot out their names from under heaven. The Lord will single them out from all the tribes of Israel for disaster, according to all the curses of the covenant written in this book of law. And I'd also like to read from Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says to the shepherds who tend my people. Because you have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not bestowed care on them, I will bestow punishment on you for the evil you have done, declares the Lord. I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them and will bring them back to their pasture, where they will be fruitful and increase in number. I will place shepherds over them who will tend them, and they will no longer be afraid or terrified, nor will any be missing, declares the Lord. So those are the readings for today. So, are you blessed or cursed? Well, you know, I've always been one, I'd like to start first with my testimony about you know, working sincerely to follow God's will. I've done home church. You know, I did a gross and still do grocery delivery business. I, you know, perhaps wasn't rich, but, you know, God always provided. And now I've moved to Harper's Ferry. God's blessed us. You know, we have a home over here. So that's, so I feel that it is very important, you know, as in the book of Matthew chapter six to, you know, put first, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Matthew six thirty three. So, you know, although, you know, I don't believe in the prosperity gospel, like, okay, you do this and, you know, you'll be rich and famous, but God will clearly look after you if you follow his principles, or eventually you will, you know, reach the goal. And certainly, I think we would all agree, we want to be in the realm of God's blessing. So, these scriptures are very, very serious scriptures. Right now, we have a situation where those pastors in the Family Federation World Peace Unification, who are knowingly, yes, knowingly, by now they certainly know, you know, that Pastor Hyung Jin Moon is the inheritor, and they're leading the flock to perdition. They're leading them astray. For what? For money? For comfort? I don't know. I mean, you have to ask them. But I know this is a very serious thing, and God is going to judge that. I think a lot of people have gotten out of the realm, and society in general, of thinking that God judges anybody for anything. You know, back in the early 1980s, you had the AIDS epidemic. By the way, we still have an AIDS epidemic. So what was happening? Men in homosexual bathhouses had sex with hundreds or even over a thousand men. Of course, they spread, you know, incredible diseases and AIDS through anal sex. And then they died. So now we have these drugs and people are living longer. And so nobody seems to think that, you know, there's any judgment from God. So you want to... So would you say that was a judgment from God, the AIDS virus? Or maybe it was just, you know, something that happened. Well, either way you look at it, it was a judgment. So I'm not claiming to know everything, whether it was God or Satan or whatever. But I do know clearly that if you follow God's word, you're a lot more likely to be in the realm of blessing. And in fact, God says you will be blessed. Will you be blessed right now? Does God guarantee that you're going to win the lotto right now? No, of course not. But you will be blessed, I assure you. And money is not the main blessing. There's health, there's friends, there's peace of mind. So what about that now? Now we hear the report that several church members in Japan, church leaders, have committed suicide. Even we heard recently a, uh, 
you know, a brother in the church, you know, also committed suicide in Florida, the Family Federation. What is going on here? This is a curse. Did God curse them? Did something else curse them? All I know is a curse. And it appears that, that, that when you stray from God's will, then God is going to curse you. In the Old Testament, people were very clear about that. If you didn't do God's will, as we were just reading in Deuteronomy, you were going to be cursed. And we see it again and again and again in the Old Testament. I guess modern people are so smart that they don't need or think they or don't need, won't be cursed by God. Oh, of course not. We're so smart. Ah. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, whether it's a curse from God or just natural law or the fact that if you do things that are against God's will, you're much more likely to be stricken with something like AIDS, as we were just saying earlier. Well, you can say whatever you will, but clearly it's a curse. And about the current situation in the Family Federation, well, a lot of people are struggling. They're struggling with cancer. They're struggling. Some people have committed suicide. Some people's kids have committed suicide. Do we know exactly the reason? No, but it's safe to say that it'd be a lot better if they're under God's blessing than under God's curse. Those families, some of those families, they said terrible things about Pastor Young Jim Moon, or they were opposed. And then bad things happen. Was it just a coincidence? I don't think so. So I think we really need to think about this verse in Jeremiah. It's terrible. It's terrible to lead your friends to perdition. I beg those who are Family Federation pastors who are on the fence. How can you be a friend or a leader and lead your flock to perdition? You are going to be cursed. It's clear. Any way you look at it. So, my friends, I ask you to really think about what you're doing. And the corner has been turned now. Everything is clear. If you are leading people to perdition, you're going to be cursed. Okay? And even if you're, you're not leading anybody, you know, you're not going to be under the realm of God's blessing. I can say that assuredly. Look at the Old Testament. Look at the New Testament. Read the verses again that I just read. So, definitely you want to come into the realm of God's blessing. I also want to mention with Pastor, um, not Pastor, <laughs> Hyunjin Moon, Reverend Kwok, the group that stole m hundreds of millions or a billion dollars from Reverend Moon. I'm putting a link right here, so click on this link to the video. Reverend Moon said clearly, do not work with Hyunjin Moon. He said that in 2009. That was not widely circulated. I don't know why in the Family Federation, but if you're working with Reverend Kwok or uh, one of the groups of Hyunjinim, you're not going to be under God's blessing. Hello? Quit. It doesn't matter if you're in poverty. It's a lot better to be in poverty than under a curse. So, I mean, think about what you're doing. You know, there's a Mothers Against Drunk Driving says, you know, friends don't let friends drive dunk, drunk. Well, I say friends don't lead friends to perdition. If you really care about your flock, how can you lead them to perdition, to hell? That's really wrong. If you're like a, a leader of some sort in the family federation, you need to quit right now. I'm quite certain about that. So, I hope you will be blessed, not cursed. I hope you will take to heed the words today. You will study the scriptures and um, that I've recited, but study the speeches of Pastor Hyung Jin Moon. Do subscribe to Daily Inspiration. We share the word from the Bible and the teachings of Reverend Sun Myung Moon every day. I hope that you will be blessed and that you will realize your actions have consequences or your inactions have consequences. There is not any middle ground anymore. If you're not supporting Pastor Hyun Jin Moon, that means you're supporting the heresy of the Han mother. That's it. It's clear. Please wake up and take the appropriate action. I am Richard Urban. I'm reporting to you from historic Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. Do be blessed and have a great afternoon. Until next time.